Hello folks, uh, tonight I wanted to show you a sample of a system I've developed that uh, I was working with a teacher. Um, she wanted a, a set of exit exams so that she could um, test how her kids were doing on specific uh, units. This is sort of a formative assessment and this is how it works. It's based off of a recent video I'd made doing a multiplication and addition practice but this is a little more extensive. Let's take a look. So first of all, we have a set of uh, scripts that we can run. Let's, uh, let's show the info on the archive. So I have a couple of hidden sheets there, but I can show them. The info sheet uh, just tells about how this works. And um, one of the things that you would do is where, wherever you wanna save your PDF files, you would simply go to that drive folder and if, for instance, uh, I might go to this drive folder um, and take a look at, uh, let's see, I think I put this in an assessment folder. I would create a new folder. Um, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it uh, PDFs. And then I'm going to open that up and I am going to grab that URL. I'm going to copy that and come over here and I'm going to paste that URL and when you paste that URL there you'll notice that uh, this cell here is a regex extract and it just extracts the ID of that cell and then my scripts use that to write the PDFs. We'll show that in a minute. Then we have a roster with a list of names and we have an archive, and in fact, I'm going to clear out this archive. This, uh, this is information we wouldn't need at the moment. Okay, so that's basically the information we have. And then we can build units. So I'm going to show my units. Here's unit one, two, and three. Um, these are just duplicates of each other. You put the answers over here, and um, I just duplicated units two and three. But what we would want to do is... Um, Go ahead and hide these, uh, hide columns D and E. And we're going to use unit one. And when you want to make a new unit, you duplicate it, write in your new unit name, put in your new questions, unhide the, those columns there, put in the correct answers. And then let's see how this works. So I think right now what I'll do is I'll hide my units. And I'll also go ahead and hide my um, info and archive. So these scripts are running and doing that. So this is basically where we start. What we're going to do is make some practice sheets. And the practice sheets ask which template you want to use. Well, in this case, I want to use unit, uh, unit one. Uh, and then what it's doing is creating a sheet for each student on the roster. Um, the reason it's taking a little bit of time to run this is I, I think I might be able to show you this if we take a look at the protect ranges um, while that's running, maybe we can do that. But what's happening is uh, it takes a couple of minutes to, or a few seconds to create each sheet for each student because um, it is locking the ranges so that when the students start working on this, the only cells they can type in is the answer cell. They're, they're unable to um, modify the questions or open up that section that shows the answers as, uh, as they're looking at their sheets and working on this. Um, there's quite a bit of scripting in the background here that's doing this, but uh, once you get it all set up, it should work out pretty well. Um, and I think we maybe have one or two students. I have 14 students in here. I think if you, uh, my script is designed right now to just run with these 14 students I think the script would have to be slightly modified to, to uh, fix up some of the errors that might happen if you ended up adding more students, but that would be simple to fix. So let's take a look what happens. Uh, if Here's Mary, she's uh, round 74 to the nearest uh, 10, they're 70 to 165 is 170. So the students are doing this. Imagine each student is working on their own tab and the teacher is watching in real time as the students are filling this out. So if I, you know, if Crystal started, you know, typing in some answers 70 and 170 and, and Crystal started having it moving along, you can see the teacher in real time is watching the progress. 
on the roster sheet. And we don't want the unit one sheet showing anymore. So before I, I started the, with the students, I could hide that unit one sheet. So all we're looking at is the students. Each student has their own sheet. Uh, Pam is coming down, jumping down here, and that's going to be C. And so now when we look here, Pam has got one right, nine incorrect. I mean, she hasn't filled them out yet. So uh, that's kind of how it works. So what else happens here? I've hidden all the sheets, so if I run my utility and save scores as PDF, because I put the URL for my folder in there, let's come back and take a look here. And there it is, there's my test for 10, 11, 22. And that's my, uh, this is just a printed PDF of the sheet of all the unhidden sheets. So you can see the roster, but then you can actually see the test for every student. And I think we had jumped down here to Pam and one of the other students there, and we have some answers there. So you actually have a record of what the students did in your Google Drive folder as a PDF. And then what we want to do is back up the roster. So let's go ahead and show the archive. And the archive is basically going to keep a record for you of each test that was taken. So let's say, for instance, I back up the roster. What it's going to do is write the data that's here. It's taking this set of data, and it's writing it back here to the archive, showing me the test scores. Now, this happened to have been unit one. And I could do something like that after I finish every day, drag that down. And now I actually have the ability in this, uh, in this archive to take a look at how students did uh, throughout all of the different tests that we might make. Now that I've run the script to save the scores as a PDF, I've backed up the roster, I can now delete all the tests. And what that's going to do is just go through and delete the tests so that we can start all over tomorrow. And basically, uh, we've got our archive, we have our actual printed version of what was done today, and the sheet's ready for me to perhaps uh, create a new unit and a new set of questions and have the students uh, go ahead and work with that. Actually, this would be uh, unit one. Uh, let's go ahead, copy, paste, and then, you know, we'd want that all to just be unit one. So um, that's one way we can do this. And um, I think it could be a handy way to track data that your students are working on.